Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. And if you're new here, go ahead and look around and subscribe to this channel so that way you can be updated on any videos that I post. So if you're new here, also know that my name is Lakeisha. I love making these breakdown videos and just sharing my knowledge with the general public and the things that I've learned and posting them here to YouTube. So go ahead and check out the entire library of videos that I have. So now this week we are going to chart gold mainly because as you can see from this past week there were a whole lot of moves inside of the market and price came up so much I was able to capitalize on a handful of moves so I want to obviously continue that trend for this upcoming week and I want to share with you the things that I am looking at inside of this market so because I have all of this stuff on my chart and it's a bit messy at the at this particular time I want to go ahead and just clear the chart so as usual gonna right click and reset my chart view and then right click and go ahead and delete where's all my stuff <laughs> so now it's looking weird but oh here we go remove drawings so just start from a fresh palette here you can see that I have some alerts here I'm going to keep those things because as we chart those levels should line up to about those areas so anyway Let's go ahead and, as usual, start on the weekly. So we can see that generally price is in an uptrend. We can see that clearly here. We're making these higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, and higher lows, and then, of course, higher high right here. I was amazed at how much price has moved this past week. So if we look at, let's zoom in on this candle, we can see that Prices are generally going up, and then this past week it formed this weak bullish candle or closed as a weak bullish candle. So that tells me that price has the potential to start to come back down to correct some of this move. Obviously, we never 100% know. So just going to go ahead and stick with my bullish bias, but also knowing that price could flip. So uh, I would generally be looking for cells maybe below this support level, but there are some cells that can be capitalized upon inside of all of this if price does come to that point. So let's just go ahead and see what that looks like on the daily time frame and start marking up some levels. So one thing that is super clear to me is the fact that a resistance was formed right here on the daily level. So I do want to use a small box and map that out mainly because that is a nice resistance level and then um, what else do I want I also want to mark off this support level now I don't know if price will come all the way back down to 2150 ish zone you can see I do have an alert right around that area but uh, it's good to have it marked off especially because it was a really strong support level and you can see it came up, bounce, 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 came up, bounce a little bit, and then took off. So this was pretty much on the daily time frame, the catalyst or the area where price just shot off. And I want to make sure that I have that marked off as well. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more data. Actually, I'm seeing another level right here. It's kind of a little consolidation level. Let's go mark that up around the 30 or not 30, the 2332 level. So now let's go down to the four hour time frame and see what price is looking like and just pretty much clean up our levels that we've already drawn. So, uh, so far what I'm seeing is I'm liking this, but I am going to pull it down a little bit mainly so that way I get these areas that touched and I'm going to extend this a little bit. There we go. So now this price is sitting at around 2144. Uh, we may adjust that more soon, but this is looking good. So now we got this level right here, and I want to actually move this down. Mainly, let's make this a little bigger and scoot it up a bit. There we go. So one of the things that is looking interesting to me, actually a couple of things, is when we look at this four-hour chart, we see that a support is forming right here. We have a handful of rejections here, rejection here, and then also a little resistance here. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to actually move this bar a little bit and maybe make it a little bit slimmer. So I really like slim levels because as you go down in the time frames, you don't want this zone that looks like this 
on the four hour to look like this on say the hour so or like this it's gonna be really big so that's why I keep moving these levels so this obviously needs to get moved I want to move this up here so that way it really encapsulates this resistance level and then then there's just a big rejection we may actually move it more all right so let's go down to h3 wow and as usual when it comes to h3 Typically, it looks about the same, but in this case, since there was so much price movement up, I do want to move this level all the way up here, and, it, and pretty much if we go back to H4, it'll look like it's on the wick. As you can see right there, it looks like it makes no sense right here, so uh, one thing you could do, or at least one thing I am going to do, is right or make this little zone right there, so that way we have all of this area between where the bodies started um, and ended and then also this wick so let's go back down to h3 and see what that looks like that actually looks really really good so i just want to make that a little bit slimmer right there just because it's basically a wick on higher time frames and then i'm going to move this this level really close actually i'm going to move this level to right here and you may be wondering well why did you move the level so the reason why i moved it is because on the way up when this bullish candle formed it's it's a bullish candle and if i'm looking at a live market i believe that the price will continue to go up and i believe when i actually took that trade um that you saw at the beginning um that's what I was thinking, but then this bearish candle formed. So, okay, so when we have a bullish and a bearish candle together like this, that's actually a resistance. So there is where my line would be. But then since this really big bullish candle formed, it's now a support. So now that's what I'm putting here because the last thing that happened in this area was a support. So that's why I'm moving that like that. So let's go ahead and go to H2 and just kind of zoom out a little bit just to make sure that my levels are looking correct yeah i didn't have anything below actually i did have that one it was at 20 there it is down there so uh let's let's get to these top ones first all right so a lot of zooming and moving on this all right cool so i'm keeping that there i'm just going to move it a little bit closer to the candle bodies and then that's still looking good because obviously that's nothing but wick on a higher time frame and then this is still looking great. However, I'm going to move it down to here just so that way the bodies are touching this line. And then even though this is kind of popping up over, the most recent price action shows it actually touching. So we're gonna leave that like that on the H2 time frame, and then let's go all the way down to that one level. Now, I don't know if price will make it back down here this week. There are a lot of surprising moves inside of the market, so I just wanna make sure that I am prepared for that so i'm going to make this a little bit slimmer and then move it a little bit closer so that way it touches this rejection kind of zone at 2147 2150 ish so it's all price is all a zone so wow <laughs> so going all the way back up here let's go ahead and move to the h1 time frame where we can get a lot more data so i'm still liking this level i'm still liking this level you can see that price came down quite a bit. Now, one thing I do want to draw here is another support level, and I probably could have did this on the H2, but another another resistance level, although price both times went through it completely, I wanted to draw this out because right here, if we zoom in, <laughs> not Spotify, come on. Um, if we zoom in here, we can see that price rejected and then it also came up and tapped in and then it also rejected. So I, I want to make sure that price, or at least that I'm able to see that when I'm looking at lower time frames and just make sure that I have a level drawn there. And then two, as we can see, price, um, price came to this level and then it made its way down to this support. So this support is still looking great. But then from here, it bounced all the way up here. And now price could potentially, this upcoming week, since it's making a little support here, it could come up to here and then find its way back to here. So that's why I want to map that out and make sure that I have that drawn up on my chart. So I know that we haven't really spent a lot of time down in this area here, but I also wanna make sure that I look at levels 
and make sure that I have them drawn, especially because price is now right here and it's it could be really easy for price to come here. So let's just go ahead and draw at a level here around 2263. So you may be wondering, well, why are you doing that? Well, mainly because I see this high that was made here, price broke, and then it retested this level. And then it also retested again. So I want to make sure that price or when I'm looking at this, when the live market is happening, that I pay attention to this area, mainly because of what has happened in the past. So once again, this is looking like a really good rejection level around 22, almost 2200 flat. So once again, draw out my box and this time I'm going to extend it quite a bit because it was way back there. But this week, because price made this really big drop on Friday, this was Friday afternoon, I remember, because I was in this trade and got stomped out in profit, but uh, it happened really, really fast. So this is why I want to draw at these lower levels, because there is a possibility that price could come back down. So, so far, this is looking really, really good. And let me just clean these up just a little bit. Yeah, so this is my charting for this upcoming week. It's going to be a very interesting week, I believe, especially at these uh, really interesting levels. And there's actually another level right here. Let me do that before I forget. And I'm going to explain really quick why I'm drawing this after I saw it. Okay, cool. So if we go to this level right here, let me just draw this right here and then zoom in. So I drew this level out mainly because price in an uptrend came up here, but it rejected several times off of this 2300 flat level. So it tried to push up, but couldn't. And then once again, tried to push up. It came, retested this level and then shot all the way up through. So that's why I wanted to draw that level just because I am a zone to zone trader. And this is literally the easiest way that I have found to trade. And this is actually a really good range is about 234 pips, which is really, really nice. And typically I aim for about 10 pips, maybe even 20 to 50 pips. So there's definitely a lot of room for me to gain in this area. So this is my chart with me for gold for this week. Uh, let me know how your trading is going down in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Bye.